All right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. They run with Ezekiel Elliott, last year's NFL rushing leader. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses, those exact type of runs. Now Prescott, this to Jarwin. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, we see so many good battles in the NFC East and Cowboys and Giants. They rarely disappoint. They didn't disappoint last year. Cowboys got the better of the Giants both times. Week 2, 20 to 13, and then in week 17, a thriller, 36-35. That was a game where Dak Prescott threw four touchdown passes. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 40. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10, right at the 40. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. To throw is Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. To throw again on second down. Prescott caught by Cobb. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Prescott. And an alley to run. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play, but you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. From the red zone now, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. 
And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. They're hoping to see more plays like that from Leonard Williams, who was traded by the Jets to the Giants, so he gets to stay in the same home stadium, same area, but traded on Monday the 28th in exchange for a third-round pick in 2020 and a conditional fifth-round pick in 2021. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Giants set to get the football back, as we were discussing earlier, Charles, 2-6 and six after that loss against Detroit. As I said, you did the game. There seems to be some soul-searching going on with this Giants team. What were your observations? Well, my observations are that this is a team that continues to improve. They still need more support at different positions. I think the, the roster still needs a talent infusion. But they've played hard. They've played well enough at times to be in games. But turnovers, not capitalizing on big plays on the defensive side of the ball. So a veteran like Alec Ogletree talked to the team pretty hard in the locker room after the game. And apparently there's going to be a veterans-only meeting or a team-only meeting to discuss how do we improve. Because as they've said, this isn't on the coaches anymore. This is on us. Well, they'll host Dallas Monday night, and then they play their MetLife Stadium roommates, the Jets, before getting their open week in Week 11. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Let's go. Snap. Operating from the gun, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram, his tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. A healthy Evan Ingram, that could be a great elixir for New York this year. You know, the season ago, he only played in 11 games because of the injuries, 35 catches, which was a dip down from two seasons ago when Ingram caught 64 passes. Running it with the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year a season ago, Saquon Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. On first down, Jones. That's into the hands of the tight end, Ellison. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, on, couldn't turn it into much 18, more. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. He's got his man. This is Tate. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. 
The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Jones on third down. He's going to float this one deep rights. He's got a man complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But we spent a lot of time exalting the offensive masterminds in this game, right? They draw up these beautiful plays. They look so perfect up on the board. But occasionally, sometimes you just say, throw it up and let him go get it. How about that play? First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for a Giants touchdown. Saquon Barkley. Taking it in as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back quick, fast, and in a hurry and put it in the end zone. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. After the penalty, it's Allian. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For Zeke, what a first three years he's had in the NFL. Last year, his second rushing title, 1,434 yards. Not as many as 1,631 that he had as a rookie, but still his yards per game average was the best in the National Football League. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage is excellent downfield. After the sack here, second and 11. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Three 
Draw play, Elliott. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Here's Prescott. Cooper's got it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 16. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Prescott going to come up first and 10, and he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. Elliott trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On second down, it's Elliott. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And he's got it. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to... That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass, and the Cowboys have taken the lead. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. Well, that's something we saw over and over again in Barkley's rookie season. He had 91 catches last year, most ever by a rookie running back. Part of a fantastic rookie campaign that saw him go over 2,000 total yards. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. 
Oh my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. Now Jones. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The tank, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. It's a team game, but sometimes individuals do stand out, don't they? How about that for a twofer? Tackle for a loss on the running play on the previous down, and then comes right back and gets a sack. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Back deep for the Cowboys, Tavon Austin. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Alec Ogletree in on the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Prescott, throw right side, take it in by Gallup. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. Now Prescott, complete to Jason Witten. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Dak fighting his tight end, Witten, and the Cowboys have a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. He'll take a shot for the end zone. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit them with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give them some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And it's now 21-7. to Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And the Giants ready to come out now. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A good run on first down. It's got him very close to the line to gain, just shy of the 35. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Jones now. Off play action. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and that'll bring up second down. Well, Charles, 18 of the 32 teams have now played eight games, half their season. The other 14 will reach the midway point next week, so we'll save the midseason grades and awards until then. But Thank you. I yeah, like that. Yeah, we'll wait on that. But let's look at a few underperforming teams thus far that have played eight games, and you tell me what you think their final record's going to be. Now, let's start with the Chargers at 3-5. and five. Big win in Chicago on Sunday. I like them to go 5-3 and three down the stretch, and that gives them eight wins. Actually, having them go six and two, I think they're going to go nine and seven. Ooh, right there on the edge of the playoffs. Okay, let's stay in the no. AFC West. How about the Broncos at two and six right now? I just don't see that offense improving. I think that they win two more games and go four and twelve. Okay. The Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Demarcus Lawrence, his second sack of the night. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Now Austin. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll run with Elliott. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Always a lot of great storylines when the Giants and Cowboys get together. And, of course, one everybody was buzzing about, the great young running back, Zeke and Saquon, who finished 1-2 in the NFL in rushing last year. And down on the field before the game, you see those guys talking. You realize how big they are. Zeke at 228 pounds, Saquon 233 pounds. A bright future in the backfield for both of these franchises. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. They'll try to throw now. Prescott, that's complete to Cobb. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. When you decide to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and seven. Prescott from the gun. This is Cobb with a catch right side. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation. 
would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep, Golden Tate. And that will go out of the back of the end zone. On, Way Let's too go. much mustard. Not a good punt, and it will come out to the 20. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. A good pick up there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. Speaking of Saquon Barkley, nice little feather in his cap after the Week 8 game. Became only the sixth player since 1950 to surpass 2,500 scrimmage yards in 21 or fewer games in the National Football League. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Jones. From the gun, he'll throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. you got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. From the 25 on second down, Prescott. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Prescott now. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. Partner, earlier I asked you about some teams that were underperforming so far. Well, right now, let's play a game arrow up, arrow down. I'll give you teams that are kind of in the middle of the pack. You tell me if they're going to go up or down second half of the season. Let's start with the Raiders at three and four. Arrow up. I think they're going to beat the teams they're supposed to beat, and they will beat someone good down the stretch. Okay. Now, Jacksonville, they're 500 right now, four and four. Yeah, but their division is conducive to their arrow going. Oh, Prescott stripped, and the Giants have it. It's picked up. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Now Jones, following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts 
as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. And New York set to take the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Now Saquon Barkley. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Third and long, Jones. It's caught, Shepard. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. Rosa's kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Remember with Rosas, there was some speculation last year in the preseason that he might not hold on to his job with the Giants. But he certainly answered the challenge, didn't he? 32 of 33 during the regular season. 97% that is. And was named to the NFC Pro Bowl team. And by the way, at 6'3", 234, he can bench press your kicker. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. You want to run the one-minute offense? This is a good test right here. It certainly is, and definitely not a time to think about kneeling and going into the half. This is a chance to attack a little bit, but not having to get everything in one shot either. Ten yards here, 15 there. Work the sidelines, work the clock, give yourself a chance for at least a field goal going into the half. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more on, important set. than it actually yeah, is, on. right? I don't want to create more Watch hype than what is three. there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Second and 10 now from the 27. On the draw, this is Barkley. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Jones. And this is Shepard on the catch. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Did you see that route the way that I did? 
I yep. thought he was trying to get Duke Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very check, well. Check, 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 so from check, the 39 check, check. now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Barkley. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll run it again with Barkley. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain, second down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On second down, here's Barkley. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. But you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Ready, ready. Jones off the play fake. Pass for 20. He completes it to Tate. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 20-yard line. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A first down carry for Barkley. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. A quick throw. Here's Shepard. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Ready, and on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Throwing Jones. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And the kick by Rosas is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle, right? No big plays given up, no balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, uh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This Let's will be a back. touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession 
of the second half. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Looking to throw, Prescott. This to Jarwin. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A nice pickup on first down, seven yards. Looking back to Cooper's numbers from last year after that trade, he ended up playing nine games with the Cowboys in 2018. 725 yards, six scores. Also had the 100-yard game in the playoffs against the Rams. And if you add up the numbers between the two teams last year, he was over 1,000 for the third time in four NFL seasons. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Elliott. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now Dak on the option left. And no pitch there and no chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And they're going to have a third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Completes it to Jason Witten. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Allen. And he'll get three down of the 34-yard line. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Again, it's Elliott. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants 28. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Prescott looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Alec Ogletree, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Cooper was the intended target. While well, we have a moment here after that incompletion, with it being Halloween week, let's do something Halloween themed. Give me your three scariest defenses in the NFL. Ooh, I love your theme. I like that. Corny as ever. Yeah, corny but good. All right, let's start with the Minnesota Vikings because their ability to mix and match, how cohesive they are as a veteran unit, and big time playmakers at every level. And Harrison Smith, the fixer, the guy can go up and down, backwards and forwards, and make plays for you. Number two for me, San Francisco. They could easily be number one. The problem is New England is just out striping everyone. But think about what San Francisco's doing. Youngsters up front, the guys in the back end, Richard Sherman having a career year, a rebirth type of a year. 
But New England giving up 6.7 points per game, or is it 7.6 yeah. points per 7. game? 7.6. 7.6. <laughs> I'm trying to make it even better than what it already <laughs> is. But those Patriots, you can't really name too many stars. Probably Stephon Gilmore, their corner. But after that, they just play so well, it doesn't matter. They're the Patriots, and they this. shut you down. A gain of four that time as the drive will continue. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. On second down now, Barkley. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, on the didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Now a play fake here on first down. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. The sack by Robert Quinn. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Looking to throw. Jones. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. The Giants on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This is third and 17. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll be fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things Let's off. Go, That's the only way you can get Let's it done. Go. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. To throw is Prescott, and this one complete to Witten over the middle. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Yeah, well, you got to think that having the 37-year-old veteran Jason Witten back at tight end is going to be great for Dak Prescott for plays just like that. And you think to last year when Witten wasn't there, it was kind of a rotating carousel. They had Blake Jarwin, Jeff Swain, Rico Gathers, Dalton Schultz. But Witten back out there and doing his thing again. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. 
Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Prescott now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and 10. Here's Elliott. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 25-yard line. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Prescott now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven, it's first and 10 on the counter, Elliott. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Alec Ogletree in there to drop him for a loss on the play. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Mar now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. 
I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted, and if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Jones now throwing again. He's got his man. This is Tate. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You have the first one for the second one to even matter. They'll run on first down. Barkley, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On second and very short, Jones. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Demarcus Lawrence, my goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. The Giants on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and seven. Now Jones. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first but at least it's fourth down. Oh man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Back to throw, Jones. He'll complete this to Ingram, his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Here's Jones on first down. Catch made by Slayton. A gain of six there on first. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second and four. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Robert Quinn able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Now Barkley stripped of the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. A little bit of daylight on that first down run. Sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Prescott on third and two, and he'll have his man. That's Cooper. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. 
You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. This is Elliott. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Brent, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. They go to Elliott again. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Well, they do get nine there on the dump off, but it's not enough. It's fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, Look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. The kick by Marr is good. And that will make this now an 18-point ball game. So with that, you figure, yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes Let's out go. to the 25-yard line. The Giants' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the Pro Bowler, Byron Jones. So from the 36 now, first and 10. The give is to Elliott. And a solid run down inside the 30. Oh, yeah. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. From the 29. Prescott, they'll roll him out right. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Let's go! Give let's him go, seven on go. the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. Four yards on the dump off at second down. Here comes the ball. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On second down, Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. 
Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from East Rutherford.